sitting here with an orange obsessive shirt just wanted to eat my pho. Yep. Did you get pho? Yes. How did I know? It was 24-7. Hey, what's going on guys? I got coming to the shop here. We got the Fung Bros coming into the shop today. And um, yeah, we gotta film a donation video. It's gonna be a bit of a different style video. There's no restorations happening at all this week, actually. So um, yeah, you wanna dab for them real quick? So yeah, like I said, the Fung Bros are coming in today. That's gonna be interesting, that's gonna be fun. What, what do you, uh, you had dinner with them last night, didn't you? Yeah, that was interesting, actually. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things where you think, to like, oh, are they gonna be the same, or like, are they uh, in camera on YouTube, as in person? And yeah, they actually are, so. Am I the same person on YouTube as I am in person? A little bit. It's like, you know, exaggerated. It's a good guy, it's a good guy. I'm not. It's a good guy that's like chat time. Walks on the beach. I just like chat time. Like if you give me a chat time on the beach, I'll on, yeah, walk. I'll walk say. to get chat time on the beach. That'd be cool. I need a coffee really bad right now. But anyways, let's pick this up. Let's have a look around here. This is Chanel. She is the new employee here at the Sneaker Laundry. Cleaning up some shoes. Got some NMDs, some stinky NMDs, some stinky Balenciagas, uh, some DCs. When's the last time you guys saw a pair of DCs? Honestly. Like, like who, no one wears skate shoes anymore, so. Ah, uh, Vans don't count. <laughs> Vans, like, they just survived the test of time. You know, ever, ever since they've come out, some common projects. How many common projects do we have to clean up here a day? Here's another pair of common projects right here. I'm not a big fan of those. What are you cleaning up right now? NMDs. Um, those are not NMDs. And Nikki. Are they for Nikki's? Nikki. Yeah, these are really nice. Though no, these are dirty. But I really want a pair of these. That one right there is nice. It's clean, very clean. This is this is dirty, but either way, still want a pair. A couple full of magnets. Pick this back up. And the Fung Bros get here. The Fung Bros are here right now, and How is trying to film something that is straight, straight right there. How is trying to say his lines, but he can't remember. Them. And I'm gonna be cleaning at least one of their shoes today. I think it's gonna be an EQT. I'm not 100% sure, but we will find out. Oh, what's up? Oh, you know they're dusty. We're gonna keep these guys clean because they've been traveling around all Asia, and we can't have them working like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a good point. Good home, man. I don't wanna walk in those stores with dusty 11s on. Dirty. <laughs> all right, cool, man. So, uh, how about? While we get these clean, yeah. we'll show you guys the process on how people clean shoes professionally. We'll get the shoes clean, we'll show you guys the process, and then we will walk around to the hottest stores. Right. I'm gonna roll with Chase. Cool. Go ahead. Okay. Let me know if you need to say anything, I'll just pull up on you, alright? Yeah, bro. I'll talk about the materials after I pick them nice and up. Alright, so this is the EQT. Obviously, the materials on here are extremely delicate. This thing right here, this little patch of suede, it bleeds a lot. So you're actually going to want to use a lot of cold water. It's the best thing to use on suede. You're not going to run the risk of anything bleeding. And yeah, you want to use a nice, soft, premium brush. This is hog hair. Dip it into the solution. Go in a nice circular motion. So we've actually got these shoe trees, right? They're adjustable. The best thing about these is that you see how the toe on this is, you know, very limp, just very worn. Take the shoe tree, and bring it back that nice original EQT shape. Did you skate these? I mean, did, did you skate these by any chance? Uh, for like just one kick push. Just real quick. So I'm kidding. Oh no, that actually came like that. No yes. way. I would have been yeah, so pissed, pissed, man. It already had like a rip in it. And I just like used like some glue to pull it together. Oh, what glue was it? The bear glue? Yep. Is it, um... Yeah. No, no, it's, it's a green one. <laughs> the one that for soles. I think I have it. Barge yeah. cement? Yeah, there you go. Yep. Barge cement. It's expensive. So after I'm done actually scrubbing down the shoe, it's not good to actually wipe the suds off. It's good to just pat down the shoe dry. That's all it really needs in order to get a nice, nice dry feel to it. Got a couple more spots on there, but we're gonna actually move on to cleaning the boost. I know you had a question about the boost. Now, we have a special brush. This is actually meant for resetting suede, but you can also use it to clean very stubborn materials, 
such as your boost. So you got a lot of stubborn dirt in there. Nice grass bristle brush. And yeah, I'm just gonna dip it into our solution. And just remember what that looks like right there because it's going to be gone. Maybe just dealing with these. Or Adidas shoes in general. Yeah, bro. The boost is very clean, looking very fresh, very nice. The best way to clean laces is to literally take them you want to follow me down here, just dump them straight into the solution. Let it soak for a couple of seconds. Take it out of the solution and just start rubbing it in your hands as though you're just washing your hands. Make sure the laces stay there and they are going to get nice and squeaky clean. Now you see how much suds are on these shoelaces. They're soaked, but that means that they're clean. So I'm just going to go over to the sink right now and give them a quick, a quick rinse. Can you clean one once you have it? Huh? Can you wash one once you have it? Yeah. Alright, so what I do after that to dry the laces off is I just pinch it between a towel and pull it clean. Pick. Nice. Come on. Removing the plaque. Rice and just cleaned up these EQTs for the Fung Bros, and they came out pretty good. They were pretty beat up. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty worse for wear. There's still some wear on the actual boost right there, but this has been a pretty, pretty cool experience to be totally honest with you. The Fung Bros coming in here and, you know, checking out the sneaker laundry. And is that Joe right there? <sighs> Camera reception. Does it feel right? Because I used to own a 6,000. You are so close to my face. <laughs> so yeah, they're literally sitting in the front of the shop with no shoes on because the shoes are sitting here. Getting a slump. Yeah, yeah. Yo, guys. And you can feed in us, man. Shout out to down on the box too. Oh, I see a koala head. Is this koala meat? No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, right. They are the tiny teddies. Yo, tiny teddy. Have you had these? No. You've had some of this, no? They're, they're like teddy grams. Ma Milo, Milo. How, how do you guys say it? Milo. Milo, okay. What is this? I like it. Like, Fredo or Fredo? Fredo. Fredo. Violet crumble. I've never seen most of these candies. Yo, I, I haven't seen. I, I'm a big fan of Milo, though. Wagon wheels. Okay. My favorite, of course. Tim Tam. Yeah, 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 Yo, did they have a McFlurry at one point? Yes. Do they still have it? No. Ah, I had to order a McFlurry. Damn, Cherry Ripe. Right. I'm pretty sure Tim Tam's in Walmart now. Yeah, they have them in America now. Yeah. You guys love your sweets out here. My yeah, mother's no, always no. giving me sweets. Because you were like, what's Australian? I was like, uh, I think it's nothing but sweets. What's yeah. Australian? Yeah. So yeah, we're done filming with the Fung Bros. Like, totally awesome that they are. Yo, thanks, Chase. Yo. Appreciate, Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate hey, you coming you through. Man. Appreciate yeah, you, you guys through, doing bro. amazing. Uh, Nathan, nice you man. do an amazing job cleaning sneakers. Now, massive shout out to the Fung Bros for coming down to the sneaker laundry. We clean everyone's shoes here. Everyone's. As you can see, the shelves are packed out. Look at these human races. Look at that. Haven't seen two pairs of the greens together in like ever. So it's never a dull day here at the sneaker laundry. As you saw, the Fung Bros were here and I'm not 100% sure of what I filmed and what I haven't filmed and stuff like that until I actually sit down to edit this video, which will probably be tonight. But we ended up cleaning some of their shoes. Um, how cleaned a pair of the Concord 11s and I did a pair of the EQTs and yeah, um, the actual suede panel on EQTs bleeds like really, really bad. So I had a little bit of nerves going into it thinking that I was going to ruin the Fung Bros shoes, but I didn't. I cleaned it pretty well if I do say so myself. The boosts look very nice. I tried to show you guys in my video as much as possible, but they were filming for their own channel. And make sure you actually check out their channel because me and Howe are both going to be featured on it. Not our channels, just like we're going to be actually in their video. They're doing a video on the sneaker laundry and obviously me and Howe clean the shoes. So yeah, we're going to actually be in the video. So yeah, hopefully that video will be up by the time I post this video and I can actually link it in the description. But if not, tough sh**. <laughs> nah, but seriously, it was really cool to meet the Fung Bros. They're all really chilled out, like laid back down to earth dudes. They just want to hang out and, you know, go to bed early, just like me. I know, we're all getting old.
we're all getting really old. Be sure to check out Howe's channel. Be sure to check out the Fung Bros. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. Smash that like button. Leave a comment on this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into my channel. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Oh,